things look pretty normal on a Saturday morning at Soda City. The crowds cover with masks, but the Main Street market is packed full as people snack on food, shop for gifts, and spend a little time outside. Susan Frederick has been selling succulents at Soda City for over a year. Have a good day, guys. She says people haven't stayed away from the market. The crowds are pretty much the same, except we're just wearing masks and uh, washing our hands and sanitizing our hands. As winter holidays get closer, many small businesses are struggling. Deloitte says that because of the coronavirus, small business sales are only expected to rise between 1 and 1.5% 1 and this year, compared to over 4% last year. Frederick says because of Soda City, she isn't too worried. If it wasn't for Soda City, we would be struggling too. I wouldn't be able to do anything. And while Soda City is very much alive, it's a different story in West Columbia, where business owners say their stores aren't very crowded. Just across the Gervais Street Bridge, Ed Albritton is an owner at Ed's Editions Bookstore. Earlier this year, they had to put more coronavirus restrictions in place. Albritton says instead of foot traffic, the store has been relying on online traffic. We had a little bit of a dip there right after things first shut down, and then as the online orders started to pick up, and they're still up, we're still selling quite a lot online as opposed to the in-store sales. Those sales are helping Ed's Editions get through the holiday season, but they have no plans to close up their brick and mortar anytime soon. We love what we do. We love our store and we, you know, we want people to come and feel comfortable and enjoy their time here. Ed's Edition says they'll keep pushing through until things look a little more normal for them too. For Carolina Insider, I'm Spencer Buckler.